Welcome to Reliving Retro. First I am ever. one of the hosts, Kyle Rigney. We have Travis Hughes here and Andrew Yeiser. Yeiser, what do you want to be called on this show? Do you want to just be uh, called Yeiser? Is that cool? Yeah, just call me Yeiser. That's what okay. you guys always call me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But this is like you're hosting this show. Yeah, but like you're just a you're just you're a guest on the other one, so it's kinda like we yeah. call you whatever we want on that show. Yeah. That's true. You don't have a say in the other one. You have yeah. a say here. What I do you do? want to be called? What's your name? Uh, Yeiser is my name, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I could have <laughs> be been weird like if you guys called me Giovanni Andrew. or something. I don't know if I'd have ever called you Andrew. I don't think so. It's the day I met him. I think it was just People Yeiser. call you Andy, though, so I don't know if you wanted to be called Andy. Some people. Okay. Yeah. What's up, Yeiser? What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> um, all right, so this is uh, Reliving Retro. This is not an original idea. I'm just going to get that get that out immediately um i lifted this idea from a podcast called uh new game plus so just just so everybody knows lifted lifted is a fancy way of saying stealing yeah but it's like a nice way of saying shoplifted a little nicer yeah it's a little bit nicer um yeah so what we're going to be doing for the show is we are going to be randomly selecting a retro game now we've decided that retro is what uh ps2 xbox gamecube era right yeah. And older. Yeah. So no PS3, Xbox 360, yeah. Wii stuff. Yeah, once um, we start talking HD, it's yeah. not retro. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Probably uh, any system you play, you could play on a box TV. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that works too. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be picking a new retro game. Not new, but like different every single week. And we invite you guys, the listeners, to play along with us. Give us your feedback. You can do that on things like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, our Patreon. We'll get into that. Um, We want to know your feedback on the game, whether you like it or not. We're each going to be able to give it a star rating, right? Yep. Um, So it's basically like if we liked the game, if we would play it again or recommend it to somebody else, we would give it our star. Got it. So a game that we all hate would get zero stars a game that we all love would get three do you think our opinions will be at all tainted because of all of the newer generation games that we've played somewhat mm-hmm. going Maybe. back to like you know, i mean when we were children when these games came out yeah video games were bursting onto the scene and they were blowing everybody's minds yeah you can you can damn near put on a pair of goggles now and walk through grand theft auto <laughs> yeah. if you wanted to <laughs> yeah so it's, it's like pretty insane I I wonder how much so it's like yeah, we have to keep that in mind I guess when you when you're playing a game you get to like for the time that this game came out yeah yeah absolutely how good is this game so that that's another thing I was gonna say so I think we're gonna be talking about this in a couple different like we're gonna be breaking each game down in a couple different categories right we'll go graphics we'll go uh, like story characters uh, replayability just gameplay in general um, soundtrack and like how did it age. Basically, yeah. you know, how, how good was this game? Like, did it hold up? Gotcha. Um, so I think we should probably start off with like slight introductions. Okay. Like I'm, my name is Kyle Rigney. I've been playing games forever. Uh, I think I probably have more game, like more experience with retro games than you two probably do. In the Seems sense like that it. I played all these NES games when I was a kid. I played a bunch of NES games, or SNES games. I had... The Super Nintendo, I had the Genesis, I had the N64, I had a PlayStation, I had a Sega Dreamcast, I had a GameCube, a PS2, Xbox. So I really like the only systems I missed out on when I was a kid were the Sega Master System and the Sega Saturn, I think, is as far as like the mainstream ones go. There's plenty of others that I missed out on. But mm-hmm. um, what about you, Trev? How how were, how did you? Do? Um. Uh, well, we discussed when we talked about this the other day that I am more of a, I was more of a Sega kid, so I didn't, I, there was a lot of these that I will be playing for the very first time, for the Which most part. Which I'm actually super excited about yeah. that aspect with both of you guys, because yeah, yeah. like I said, I've played a ton of these games already, so even like the super uh, like obscure games, I've played a lot of them. I haven't played through them really, like I've popped them in and played them for yeah. a couple minutes and that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm very excited to see like your guys' first impressions on a lot of the games that I've loved since I was like six. Right. So like some of this is not to say that like I ha- don't know any of these characters or anything. Right? I've been playing like the N64. I played. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm aware of all these characters and all the all the different stories. But like games like Zelda, as we talked about before, I've never played that. Not 
from the very one, very first one that debuted through Breath of the Wild two or whatever the newest one is. I have not played any of them, so like I'm, yeah. I am super excited for some of these. To... And and that's actually where you and I are on the same page. I the only game, the only Zelda game that I've played really at all, I played Ocarina of Time a little bit for the N sixty four, and then I played uh, Breath of Wild, Breath of the Wild for a little bit yeah. on the Switch. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited for that. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what, uh, real quick, what systems did you have growing up? Uh, the Sega was my very first one. The Genesis, right? Yeah, Sega Genesis. Uh, Sonic is probably the oldest game I remember playing, the first Sonic, the first two. Mm-hmm. Uh, from there, I went from PlayStation 1, and that is where my love for the PlayStation uh, was born and never left. I have been PlayStation since that year, <laughs> and I have never uh, ventured away. I mean, I have a Switch and stuff now, but like... As right. far as the Xbox and PlayStation robbery is concerned. Never an Xbox? No. Yeah. Hmm. You've always been PlayStation. Always PlayStation. Nice. So, I mean, uh, so, like, I'm excited for some of the, if we're going to get into, like, the PS1 games, there's a couple of these I'm excited for that, like, I don't know if you guys have played, that I'm, like, mm-hmm. if they are games that come up, I'm so excited to play again. Or have you guys play them. Cool. Right. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Uh, what about you, Yazer? Um, so... We had, there was never a Sega in my house ever. We never owned any Sega. Sacrilege. No. Nintendo yeah. family, huh? Yeah, all Nintendos. Um, but we only had one at a time. I was the youngest of three boys, so I didn't get to play too much. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was losing those fights. Um, but the first But if your console, brothers listen, they can tell you how, to, how the game went. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first console I owned that was mine, mine, was uh, the GameCube. So it was, Nice. Yeah. And, uh, Very underrated console, I think. Oh yeah, dude, that thing was awesome. Double Dash is still the best Mario Kart. Well, we is can disagree about is that. that. <laughs> like Luigi's Mansion came from was yeah, the yeah, 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 yep, yep. That always yeah. looks so cool, and another one I've never ever played before. So, so, so when so growing up, you had the NES, the N sixty four, the Super SNES, Nintendo, yeah, all that. We had a, uh, had all the Nintendos, PlayStation, um, PlayStation one, PlayStation two. Nice. I think that the second console that was mine, I had a. PS2 Slim, which nice, is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. And then my brother stole it from me and traded it for an Xbox. When that wow, came out. <laughs> that's awesome. Which <laughs> one was it? Put him on blast. It was Dave, <laughs> but I mean, he shared it with me. It was fine. I played it probably more than he did. <laughs> I thought he meant which like style system, not which no. brother. No, which brother? Which oh, brother yeah, would no, put him no, on blast no. for sure? He knows. He knows what he did. <laughs> he knows. He knows who he is. <laughs> All right, so um, so that's just a little bit of uh, background behind our like retro game. Uh, history i guess um we're each gonna bring one game to the table that i think we all like that we want each other to play um Yeiser, what is what game do you want us both to play um i want you both to play chrono trigger i don't know if a week really is long enough to to really to love the game yeah but um it really uh, it's the, probably the best rpg i've ever played yeah, yeah. what is it what is it for Whenever super nintendo snes oh, okay and they remade it uh for playstation one too yeah, oh, dude, I've never even heard of it. Is that bad? So good. It's one of probably like the most like heralded RPGs of all time. Oh, it was okay. like the first RPG, I think, to have like multiple endings, multiple possible endings. Wow. Depending on where you were in the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty intricate for like a, a '90s game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For... Um, my game is also an RPG that I want you guys to play, and it's Earthbound. And um you guys may might not know earthbound at all but you know of earthbound in a sense because you guys both play super smash brothers and that's ness ness, right? ness yeah. is from earthbound okay he's the main character from that game gotcha. um trav if you were to want us to play one of your games you said uh you had a couple of playstation games or maybe even a yeah. sega genesis game from from back in the day um so, I mean, you guys are but you guys are aware of like the sonics and stuff because to be honest with you the sonic games it was just uh, like like so, my mother would buy them for us, and yeah. I just remember, she just had this weird thing about Sonic. So it's like we played a Sonic, we played that game into the ground, <laughs> and then a new Sonic came out, and we played that game into the ground, and we did that forever until a PlayStation came out. Yeah, and then from there it was like that was it. That was where like my addiction to video games started. So for the PlayStation, what games were you getting like specifically? Was it like the Spyros and Crash? Yeah. And those? So I mean, I think there's probably a couple you guys are familiar with. Like yeah. the Spyros for sure, such a fun game, such a good game. Um, but then there's a game like uh, Medieval. Yeah. So that one's a really good one, dude. Where you're you're just a skeleton, like this knight from the. Oh, oh dude, it's super fun. A lot of these are that like the three D, yeah, like three D platformers, kind of like uh, yeah. Super Mario sixty four ish. Gotcha. Um, but I think 
the think I, the one I think I want you guys to try is because it's it's like real first generation PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean? Like they threw it out there hoping it was going to do good. I don't know that it did or not based off the time, but like um, Jersey Devil. I'm very oh. excited to play it myself. So I only of know of that game because Haas, which I'm I'm assuming he'll be on this podcast at one point. Or oh another. yeah, probably. Um, he absolutely loved the ps1 and he had almost every obscure game you could imagine for it just as a kid like because he went out and like his his parents and his, or his grandparents and whatever would buy him like pretty much any ps1 game and he had medieval that's how i that's how i know about that game yeah and I, that's also how i know about Jer- jersey devil uh, they're like so nostalgic for me so like yeah. i would nice. if i i mean obviously we, we will play these games in one way or another but yeah i haven't played them in two decades so <laughs> right it's gonna be such a good time well so basically that's what i was asking i was asking you guys uh that question just to kind of set up the whole patreon pool idea so your game that you're going to be bringing to the patreon pool is you're going to be putting in jersey devil yep. you're going to be putting in chrono trigger i'm going to mm-hmm. be putting in earthbound uh if any of the listeners want to put in some of theirs uh we have a patreon and it's patreon slash reliving retro uh, just go on to there and for five dollars a month you can you can help us to, like basically decide what we're going to play for that week um, any games that you input you can input as many as you want it's not once a month you can put in a game you could have 10 games one day put in another list at 25 they'll all be added to our list and we will randomly select another one at the end of every single episode um, and then there's other tiers and other perks in there um one you can join our discord our discord channel another one you can uh be actually on the show even if we don't know you personally you can just call in and you can be on the episode for whatever game you want to you want us to play um so yeah so check that out and you can help us out with basically just our content yeah yeah help us support because uh, a lot of this money too. Any of this money that we get, it's going to go to. Um, even if we're going to emulate some of these games, which is illegal, don't tell anybody. Um, What's an emulator? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to buy controllers. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. For the computers and stuff like that, and that's going to cost some money. Yeah. Um, and then some of these games we won't be able to emulate. Um, I don't know how PS2 emulators work. I'm not real familiar with that. Um, so maybe we will have to buy consoles and some games at some point to play some of those games. Um, yeah, so that's basically where money's going to, and just better production value in general. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I have already looked into the process of acquiring converters for PS One cables because I know that flat screen TVs don't necessarily take the audio and video cables of old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and to my surprise, it's not as a steep process as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to cost a small fortune to like mm-hmm. acquire a PS1 with <laughs> any sort of game and setup. And yeah. I was like, oh man, I'm afraid to even look. And I, w- I it wasn't cheap by any stretch, but it, it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't like, well, this is never going to happen. Mm-hmm. So. That's another thing that I definitely want to do too, is like for each game that we talk about, I want to talk about how much it is to buy that game currently yeah. at market value. Right. Some of these <laughs> games are probably worth a fortune, man. Earthbound yeah. in general, like just the cart price to that game right now is roughly $200, 220 Wow. It, it, That's just the cartridge. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy to think about is that these video games are only what, a 40-year-old thing that we have, right? 45 yeah. years maybe? Yeah. If it's, if it's even that old, right? And they've gotten so much better in just that short amount of time that the games that these games that we're playing, the retro games, are the games that started it all, man. So yeah. it's like <laughs> these are, they're like, say what you want about video games, but they're literally a link to entertainment history here because they're the first. These are the games that literally broke down the door and got people in love with video games. So definitely, dude, definitely. Ba- like the games that we're about to play. Uh, these were all the games that everybody said this is just a fad. Yeah. This is this is, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. And video games are currently uh, this is not an exaggeration. Video games are currently the biggest entertainment market. Yeah, I they're bigger that. than movies. They're bigger than TV shows. Oh yeah, yeah video games that. are the most profitable market. Yeah, um, makes sense. That's why streamers have more money than movie stars. <laughs> I I had no idea that that this price went up so high chrono trigger it says loose price just the cartridge 263 dollars and 50 cents if you want that i got it, that somewhere dude if you want the if you want that bad boy complete with the box and the manual 
eight hundred and seventy seven dollars. Jesus Christ. That's insane. What's um, Secret of Mana up to? I know that one. I don't think that's as much. But I sold the copy a few years ago for the like has got the game, the the manual and the box just somewhere stored away. Dude. Eight hundred dollars S- worth, dude. Secret of Mana, uh, just the cart is sixty dollars. Complete oh, okay. price is one hundred and seventy five. Oh, that's not bad then. Just the disc, the Jersey Devil, thirty eight dollars, and the case and the manual and the disc is sixty five dollars. Okay. Hmm. Dude, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. That's. Emulation is going to play a major part here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get yeah, a ton yeah, of yeah. Uh, patrons. That, patrons, I guess. That's right? crazy, right? Because that's as much. That's how much it costs to buy a brand new PlayStation Five game <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah, that is the newest game console that exists at the moment. Uh, I'm outside of the Xbox Series X, mm-hmm. uh, and that's how much they cost sixty nine dollars. Oh, Earthbound has skyrocketed. Uh, loose price, just the cart, three hundred and eighty six dollars. Uh, the complete <laughs> price, the complete price is twenty one hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Um, Jeez. And the Earthbound first time I an, ever met is this an NES game, Earthbound? Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Okay. Yep. Uh, the first time I ever met Frank from Forgotten Freshness, yeah. um, I got a card from a, a place that's closed called uh, Game Crazy, and mm-hmm. he's like, "This guy is." great with the retro stuff go go to him so i'm like okay so i go there and he had earthbound and i was like oh man i gotta buy that game i don't even think i had a super nintendo i just had to buy it because it was like my favorite game from when i was a kid Mm -hmm. bought it for 50 dollars. oh that was in 2007 wow now it's 386 dollars do you have it still uh no i sold it a few years ago 15 years later oh wow 15 years later it's up 800 (laughs) dollars. jesus it's wild that's pretty crazy but Anyway, so um, that was our uh, short, quote unquote, it's like 15 minutes, Yeah. Uh, introduction, and this is going to be our trailer episode. Our first episode, our first like full length um, episode is going to be about Super Mario Bros. Now, we didn't have, we didn't have a randomizer or anything like that. We basically were like, let's just start really where it all started. Yeah. Yeah. Made sense. You know? I mean, we could have went with like Tetris. Or Pong or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. let's not start with those. Let's yeah, start yeah. with Super Mario Bros. Not much Bros. to talk about with those. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to start with Super Mario Bros. Uh, we certainly encourage you all to to play the game this week uh, along with us. And and then tell us how, how you felt about it. Yeah. Uh, also, because you know, we have a Twitter and stuff. If there are some secrets that maybe we don't know about, shoot them my way. Because I love... <laughs> some broken game secrets and i don't mean like the game is broken i mean something with the game the way it was developed wasn't the way it should have been oh, those yeah. little easter eggs i want to know about them. <clears throat> well it's uh, funny because i said to i said to yeiser and we can talk about this really quickly too um i'm probably going to try and beat the game okay um i haven't beaten this game in a very very long time and i'd like to beat it i'm going to try and beat most of the games that we play okay um nice however a lot of these rpgs are going to be pretty tough to beat in a week but yeah, i'm going to yeah, give them yeah. a go and if I get pretty close, I'm going to continue to play them. But um, I'm going to try and beat this one. And Yeiser was like, I don't know. Is it a long game? Because you've legitimately never played it? I've played it a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's not really a long game. If you play through all the levels, it might take you a few hours. However, you could beat this game in five minutes if you know where to go. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So that's <laughs> sort of what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, if I'm going to try to beat a game like this one, I'm going to try to beat this week, which I'm I'm sure I can do. Yeah. Um, but like, I still want you to tell me about that little trick. <laughs> right. I, I wanted to jump into the yeah. last world. I still want to know about it, mm. and I'll take a look at it after the after the fact. Yeah. And so, so like I said, next week's episode will be us uh, reviewing and recapping Super Mario Bros. for the NES. Um, I will be playing it on my Switch probably. How about you guys? Same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what I was definitely. just doing. Okay. I cheated and got out to a lead here. I already started, just because <laughs> I needed Rigney to show me how to get it all set up on the switch and so that's what i was doing about two seconds before we started talking (laughs) oh yeah that's true i have it on video (laughs) i could put it up on youtube (laughs) all right guys uh that's going to be it from us uh for this week um we're going to try and record these i think on sundays right and put them out for monday yeah it works so that's going to try and be we're going to try and have that formula um uh, spoiler alert, um, we all have children that we are responsible for, yep. so it's very likely that that schedule could change up 
every once in a while. Mm-hmm. And if you follow our Twitter or our Facebook or our Instagram, uh, we will be sure to let you know when that's the case. Yeah, I mean it's I'm, it's all fun though because I'm gonna try to see how much how much of these I can get uh, Luke into. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's another thing. I was yeah, I was trying to say that uh, to Olivia, my daughter. I was like, you know, we can play these games together and kind of see how you like them as well. Yeah. Just, just, I want to get a feel for what a child of this era feels about a game from when I was that young when it came out. Yeah. yeah for so, sure. actually, no, I don't know how old I was when this game came out. I don't well, think we were. We were negative four. Yeah. yeah. This we game came out in 1985. We weren't out yet. But you know what I mean. We weren't out yet. The game was out. We weren't out. <laughs> we weren't, out yet. <laughs> we weren't uh, even in production yet. No. But all right. Uh, like I said, that's going to end it from us uh, for this week. Be sure to check out episode one next week. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Later. Cool. See you guys later.